Our story today is called Another Book About Bears, and it's by Laura and Philip Bunting. Once upon a time in a deep, dark forest far, far away, there lived an old brown bear. One day the bear embarked, oh no, 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 hold it right there, not another book about bears. Or bear, you're kind of interrupting my story. What's the problem? Do you know how many books have been written about us? I'll tell you, too many. Whenever you open up a book about a bear, we have to perform the story for you. Child opens book, bear alarm sounds, bear performs story, bear zonked. Even if we were in the middle of something really good like sleeping, snoozing, or napping, we have to jump up and do whatever the book says. Why do you like reading about bears so much? We're not so great. Hey, who took all the salmon? We're often greedy, grumpy, lazy, and a bit ferocious. Uh, grr? And we're exhausted. We're sick of doing all the work. I see. But who will the children read about? Not another book about bears. We can't bear it anymore. Bear today, gone tomorrow. Don't make me get grizzly. Urgh. That's your problem. We quit. You can't quit. We can, and we just did. Hmm, we'll see about that. The bear wore a pink tutu and rode a tiny bicycle. Oh, I see. You'll make us look silly if we don't cooperate. Well, it won't work. He chowed down on some piping hot porridge and then upset a hive of honeybees buzz off and turned a frog into a handsome prince with a big sloppy kiss. Mm, nope. Oh, go on. The children cried and cried when their favorite character turned out to be a big selfish meanie. Oh, that's low. Fine. How about this? If I can find a better animal to start in your books, you'll leave us alone. No, Matt, no more books about bears. Deal? Okay, deal. Hold on, I know just the guy. Meet your new leading animal. Uh, bear, do you know how many elephants you can fit into one tiny book? Not many, they're too big. Okay, how about an uh, echidna? Um, too spiky. Crow, too noisy. Kitten, too cute. Marmoset, too crazy. Star-nosed mole, too, wow. Flying fox, too baddie. Dodo, too extinct. Crab, too pinchy. Horse, nay. Peacock, too fancy. Koala, too cuddly. Earthworm, too boring. Anglerfish, too ugly. Kangaroo, too jumpy. Salmon, hey, look. Hey, who took all the salmon? Cheetah, too fast. Tortoise, too slow. Spider, too scary. Gazelle, too scaredy. Blobfish, seriously. That's all I got. They're all the animals I know. Well, don't you see, Bear? No other animal has quite what it takes to star in all those good books. Sure, bears are a bit greedy, grumpy, lazy, and even ferocious sometimes, but who isn't? The fact is, bears are just right. So what now? Don't worry. I have an idea. Once upon a time in a deep dark forest far, far away, there lived an old brown bear. One day the bear fell asleep and hibernated uninterrupted for eight long months. And luckily a few old friends agreed to help out while the bear took a well-deserved break. Goldilocks and the three bears, except this book may not contain bears. The end. Wasn't that a fun story? Our theme this month is play. So I thought we would just read some fun, funny stories this week. Thanks so much for joining me.